Hey Aries Collective, what's up y'all? Welcome to the channel, welcome back. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope y'all are doing amazing. We are going to do a love reading today. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, flip the rose if you need to. Could be past, present, or future energy, or someone else around you I'm picking up on. So only take what's yours, y'all know. Use your own discernment. Don't try to force anything. Okay, Aries, you have a pretty decent looking reading here. So far, Pisces started off good and then it took a turn. So just let's just, you know... Take it one step at a time. There's someone around you could be a Sagittarius. That's in your energy. Could be a Gemini, a Virgo, a Cancer, a Pisces. And Sagittarius is coming out twice. Um, this is someone who's very brave, bold, in your face, big personality, outgoing. They like to have fun, okay? This could be someone that you have kind of like a situation ship with. I'm going to just be real with y'all. Um, I don't see... That is a full-on relationship, but it could be. It, it, you know, it's going to be different for everyone. But this is someone who's ready to settle down with you. If it's only been like hooking up, they actually have more feelings for you than they let on. Um, this person feels like you're a past life soulmate. They really felt like it was love at first sight when they first met you. But this is a very charming, charismatic, good-looking, sexy um, person. Nice body. Um, they could take care of their body really well. They could go to the gym a lot. They could be an athlete. They could, you know, just they value the presentation, okay? This is someone who could be really busy and really distracted. Um, they want you to know that they plan to make more of an effort to see you, okay? I don't know if I said Gemini Virgo, but if I didn't, Gemini Virgo is here as well. Um, they feel like you two see eye to eye. There's a feeling of like I've always known you. I'm getting a lot of first sight vibes, but let's 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 get into this and see what's going on between you two. You underestimate just how much power you you wield here. I'm really at your mercy. You have more control over this than you know. I told you they it just feels like a situation ship where somebody actually ended up falling in love. <laughs> until they fear losing you they'll never fully appreciate having you and see that's the thing there is a fear of losing you because some of you you're an Aries you're confident you got your own stuff going on I don't feel like they've ever dated anyone like you and they've never had the fear of losing anyone because this person is good looking whoever they are they can get a lot of attention have a lot of options you're special to me. What did I just say? You're not like the rest of the people they've dealt with at all. You're irreplaceable. And they know, it. well, will you marry me, Phil? I'm not going to take that. But, I mean, that could be for some of y'all. What's mine is mine. They feel like you two belong together. They might be a bit possessive. <laughs> some of them say you telepathic messages, communication. Have you ever been thinking about this person and then they call you? <laughs> because they're sending you telepathic communication. This is a past life soulmate, y'all. This person said they would go to the ends of the ends of the earth for you. They're very brave. You're my most prized connection. Oh my God, this is beautiful. Okay, so so far yours is staying on up and up. Okay. Okay, that's why I wanted to come. I can treat you better than them. So if you're dating other people, they don't want you dating other people. This is somebody that's saying, come on over here. They said, what's mine is mine. Yeah, this is this is definitely a very cocky person. Just be real with y'all. Not at all shy. Not at all. Envious. <laughs> yeah, they don't be jealous. I don't think it's toxic, though. It's almost like their ego can't tolerate the thought of somebody else being able to have their person. But I don't feel like it's toxic, toxic at all. They also feel like they've been so distracted. They could be making you feel like you're on the outside of their life right now. You have history with this person. This is someone, could be a Scorpio. You have a lot of good memories with them. You have history with them. We need more one-on-one -on -one time. Yeah. This person is about to take action towards you. It says they want to spoil you with gifts, time, and loyalty, and compliments. They see a future with you, long-term intentions. Okay, so this is someone that has graduated from a Knight of uh, Wands energy to a King of Wands energy. It could be another fire sign. This is Leo energy. Let's get some tarot and see what else wants to come out for the Aries Collective. 
three cards on the top. Oh, let's see. Y'all, the Knight of Wands, I just said that. The stars. You look at the Knight of Wands rushing towards the star. And it's because look how you focused on you're focused on manifesting your own blessings, your own miracles. You're not waiting for this person to come save you like a damsel in distress. But look how they're racing towards you. Some of y'all, this is a Sagittarius. Could be an Aquarius. Didn't I accidentally call y'all Aquarius at the beginning? Or was that Aquarius I did that with? It could have been Aquarius. I accidentally said Aries. And Aquarius is reading. I don't remember. Anyway. Um, oh, Knight of Swords. Mm, they love your no-nonsense attitude. They love the fact that they feel like they met their match. That's what this is. Knight of... Um, the Knight of Wands to the Knight of Swords. It's like someone wants to come in. They want to race in in a very fearless way. Right? Very unpredictable. Expect the unexpected, right? And they want to come in. They feel like your dream come true. They want to come in with some communication. This person feels like you are the one. They're fixated on you. They are convinced that you are the one they're supposed to be with. Some of you, this is a Gemini, an Aquarius, or a Sagittarius. Show me this Knight of Wands energy. Five of Swords. That's Aquarius energy. This person will try to defeat anyone who gets in their way they are not playing about you what's the star the two of wands yes they see a future with you they feel like you two have potential and, and a promising connection here this person is looking forward to the future they're not worried about their one whatever was going on in their past they're not worried about they're focused on the future here and it's just like you can clearly see sometimes the two of wands can be torn because this can represent being at a crossroads, but they're focused on the one in the future, not the one in the past. Oh, wow. What's the night of swords? This communication, this honest communication. This person is brutally honest, y'all. We have the three of wands. So we've gone from the two to the three. So there's a graduation here. This person wants to go to the next level with you. Three of wands is about momentum. I like how things are going. Let's continue. Let's pick up the pace. What is someone patiently waiting at the same time? I do feel like there's this antsy feeling of wanting to claim you. There you go. I just said wanting to claim you and the Queen of Wands came out, which literally means they want to claim you. You can't make it up. You are the Queen of Wands. Or they see you as the Empress too. All they do is think of you. This could be a Libra, a Taurus, could be another Aries for some of you. Let's get some hidden truth. And see if there's anything they want to say. What did I just say? It says, my schedule has been so busy. I'm sorry. My schedule has been so hectic lately. I know I've been distracted. But I promise you'll hear from me soon. And they are coming in quickly with some communication. But look at this. I bury myself in work to forget you. <laughs> this is hilarious. I want to be more than friends. I told you that situation stuff ain't working. Situationship. I replay our conversations over and over, y'all. This person loves talking to you. They feel like you are just as brutally honest as them. They trust you. They feel like you're a confidant. She's a confidant. They see you almost as a best friend. They know you would make a wonderful parent. In particular, a mother, but you don't have to be a woman. Um, So a good parent, if you don't already have kids with them. I don't feel like you do. This feels like somebody. I mean, for some of y'all, take out what resonates. But this feels like someone you've never been committed to. That doesn't mean you can't have kids. People have kids and they're not committed all the time. But just I'm going to just leave it there. Y'all get the point. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all next time. Hope y'all enjoyed the reading. Peace.